Welcome everyone. Today we're going to talk about how to install Universal Audio's Luna Digital Audio Workstation to your MacBook. Go to universalaudio.com and under recording products, click Luna. We're going to be installing the free version. Go ahead and click the download Luna Now button. It's going to ask you to sign in to your account and afterward it's just a couple steps then you'll be able to download the software. Click the Mac OS button to begin your download. We're actually downloading Universal Audio's UA Connect software, which is their cloud interface, which allows you to download Luna along with other plugins and extensions. Go ahead and grab the installer and then drag UA Connect to your applications folder. I already have a newer version of UA Connect, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel this. Before we open up UA Connect, let's take a look at the system requirements. Go to help.uaudio.com. In the search bar, type Luna System Requirements. Click the first result in the list. Under Luna System Requirements, you're going to want to run a Mac OS that's Catalina 10.15 or Big Sur 11, Monterey 12, Ventura 13, or Sonoma 14. We're going to need UA Connect software to install Luna, and you're going to want a 600 megabyte hard drive. Under recommendations, you want to have an Intel i7 processor or Apple Silicon processor, 16 gigs of RAM, and a solid state hard drive. For external solid-state hard drives, make sure it's USB 3.3.1, 1, PCIe, or Thunderbolt enclosure. Let's go ahead and open up UA Connect. On the upper left-hand side, click Luna. Go ahead and click the download button. It's going to begin installing Luna along with the ARP and Shape extensions. Once the extensions are finished downloading, we can open up the Luna application. Click open. You'll see the splash screen and it will ask you for some permissions and start loading plugins. When the software opens, you'll be greeted with a new project screen. Go ahead and give your project a name. I'm gonna call mine first project. Click accept all for privacy settings. Then hit the create button. Click OK for download access. In our next video, we're going to look at how to get started in Luna. Thanks for watching.